So let's start off by saying that Nate Ryan is not a fan of the slithery reptiles. It's a well-known fact around the office, and I think he might even have negotiated a no snakes contact clause into his contract, but in a pandemic, you have to make some adjustments. And in today's report, Nate faces his most daunting encounter yet. Reptiles make me a little uneasy, but when zookeepers brought out the rhinoceros iguana, we sparked instant fireworks. Oh, he's closing his eyes. He's into it. Oh. This is Fido the iguana, aptly named because he acts like a regular house dog. Fido loves to meet new people. He's really, really chill. He's actually in his 30s, which is a little old for an iguana. On average, they live more in their 20s or younger out in the wild. A little one-on-one -on -one chiropractor session here with the rhinoceros iguana at the El Paso Zoo. Now, chill is what I'm all about when it comes to the reptiles, and I found that both the iguana and my golden doodle actually have the same sweet spots on the back rubs. There it is. Oh, yeah. So I'm down with the lizards, but that wasn't the reptile that I was worried about. So she's just exploring, enjoying the nice Exploring, weather. right, you totally. To support her body. God help me. This is the first time on the snake yeah. holding. The things I do for television, ball security with the Virgin Islands tree boa. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Snakes are classified as either venomous or constrictors. I was, wasn't apologizing to you, I was apologizing to the snake. <laughs> And if it's any consolation, this particular serpent is not venomous. Regardless, handle with care. So as long as she feels safe, she's not going to do any harm. But if she felt in danger for any reason, yes, she would strike to protect herself. Danger. Got it. Hello. There are over 30 species of snakes at the zoo, but for snakes that are venomous, social distancing, major key. So we obviously don't handle our venomous snakes in our hands. We have them on hooks or in tubes where they're safer and we're safer. But just like the snake, the venomous snakes won't just strike you for no reason. They have to feel unsafe. Um, so they're not too much different, but we do take them way more seriously. While I fumbled with the tree boa, it turns out the strike I needed to worry about was a different one. I think it's going to the bathroom. <laughs> there was just something that came out. Oh, yeah, she peed a little bit. She peed a little bit on my hand, the you snake. No, that's cool. I wish it would have just bit me. No, honestly, that snake seems really comfortable. Good, good. <laughs> Cross the snake off the list forever, and somebody get me that iguana or a sporting event or something. This is like the American Kennel Club over right? here. Right? <laughs> For the Nature Report, oh. Nate Ryan, ABC7. You know, I'll say this. If the snake strikes, as they say, by the way, when it doesn't feel safe, I don't know how that didn't happen when Nate was handling it. You see how many times he fumbled the snake around? Well, maybe it just was glad there was something else to go onto, right? It didn't fall onto the floor. That would have been bad. I just, you know, golf clap for Nate because I like him. I have that fear of snakes, and there's no way you could get me to do that. I no think thing. everybody in the building wished they had that assignment until today. Yeah, that was cool with the iguana. And, I would and all the other ones, too. To the snake, no.